I take the whip from that delivery. Just need some wrenches. A couple minutes, check the engine. What's the symptoms? Is it fine? Check the pistons. How's the tranny? How's it shifting? Is it slipping? Ain't no quitting. I'm on a mission, feeling driven. Ain't no stopping till the tire's spinning. Resuscitate the rod, it's the nursing garage. 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 What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, as you guys can see, we got the trucks loaded. It's Kai's friend Jacob. Shot vibes in the car. George, you guys know George. Kai's right there. So we went ahead and got this thing freaking buried. I don't know if you guys can see. We hadn't even left yet and we got this thing super stuck. Yeah, we're supposed to be playing with burnout trucks, not mud trucks. I know. Over here mud bogging in the canal. Well, we were, our time frame is way off. We're only like eight hours off, which isn't honestly terrible if you guys think about like everything we've had to do this past few days. So fortunately Kai's truck went up with his four wheeler in the back. He brought down his rig, it's pretty sick. He literally, we were waiting on Kai cause Kai decided he wanted to put a transmission in the last minute. So my Chevy transmission decided it wanted to have a bunch of neutrals. So yeah, so Kai originally tried to fix his transmission and then <laughs> He lost every, he only had first gear. So then, I wanna see every 4L60 meme ever in the comments. Yes. <laughs> so then we got this thing stuck, guys, right here. You can't really tell, it's so, so wet outside, but we got buried, had to hook the 7.3 to this trailer, and now we should be good to go on the road, so. Yeah, we're just gonna do daily vlogs, guys, so we're gonna pretty much start today. I'll show you guys when we get to the Airbnb, but we're just gonna pretty much just roadie pass the phone around and just have a good time show you guys what it's like to not just wake up 1600 miles away or <laughs> however many miles away we're going to show you guys the whole process so this is the process at five in the morning right now this is the start of it this is the start everyone of our day truck and go. yes it's, it's not jumping and go <laughs> like everyone <laughs> thinks yeah. <laughs> i mean five, five hours off ain't too horrible honestly we're on a good roll yeah we're on a good roll so. we got this all right guys just your usual little update we are about 20 30 minutes into the trip everybody's still pretty good oh yeah and uh yeah we're rolling pretty good right now just doing a solid 60 and yeah hopefully see you guys when the sun goes up anything you want to add car it's nice and cold in here finally ac was a move uh, it feels nice to have ac for once yeah i ain't used to this nice Yes, sir. So we'll see you guys here in a little bit. No. All right, guys. First pit stop. We made it to just outside of Orlando. Dude, I got to give it up to this dang 6.6 Duramax. It's pulling like a thug. We got through Orlando traffic. Thank God. We're about 40 miles out of Daytona Beach. It's looking pretty mint. Trucks look good. Everything's going pretty freaking swell, I'd say. What do you think, Kai? Dude, we're moving. Tires a little low, but I think it's just the angle we're on right now because we're on a hill. But if we do, we'll stop at a big rig spot and we'll get them all filled up and stuff because they are like 14 plies. So. Yeah, well, aside from that, yeah, this one's low. Everything's still strapped down tight. Yeah. The light's still there. Oh, dude. Sick. I was worried about that light. Huh? All right. Doing good. I can't wait to show you guys the Airbnb. It's pretty sick. Kai was bragging about it. Said it has a lake. Oh wait, no, I'm not gonna say much. I'll wait for you guys to see it because I can't wait to see it neither. So, yeah, guys, we're just gonna keep on chugging along. I think our next pit stop is probably gonna be probably just outside of day. I think we're gonna try to make it a Bucky's. So, yeah, I'll see you guys here in a few.
fell off the trailer. Dude, so lucky. Dude, so lucky. So lucky. Why it starts? How lucky can you get? Dude, oh god, bro. Huh? What what snapped your strap? Dude, that thing literally ran over the whole thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How in the f what the fuck? It broke the strap. That's what I'm saying. Come on, Kai. Hey, can you shut my door? Yeah, keep coming up. Dude, how lucky can you get? I mean, I could have been luckier and not had my truck fall off the trailer. Good thing you strapped it. Did you Did you want to hold the brake and then we'll go to the... Up no, there? go grab that block of wood and block it. <laughs> You're so cool. So cool. Grab what? Okay. What's up, guys? Sorry, unfortunately, I noticed there's some crazy time lapse. One second, George. There's some crazy time lapse, guys, but we made it to the Airbnb. We made it here about midnight. So, this is our view, guys. This is pretty sick. Um. I felt, I thought- Oh, it is too early to be YouTubing. I thought Kai bombed it the first time, but it turns out it actually turned out to be a pretty little dope spot. Turns out I know what I'm doing. Well, technically guys, unfortunately, this was the whole event. And this is why you kind of see our attitude transition throughout the video. Is like, this this Airbnb has been rented for like two weeks, but what the lady didn't tell us or what the Airbnb place didn't say is that they had people here prior to and completely destroyed the place we were supposed to stay. We're not even supposed to be staying at this one. So, being really good at, uh, I mean, honestly, Kai was really professional talking to the lady, ended up getting us this place. Not a whole lot, like, it's not perfect, but it's perfect for what we need. We are 15, 20 minutes from Bristol. We have a beautiful view of the lake, which you guys are going to see us just party on on a Sunday. And, yeah, guys, I mean, look at a great view. Couldn't really ask for much better. Uh, it's like 75 degrees right now. We had to like take it slow. So like I said, today is the next day. So as you guys know, today is event day. We are completing an open class. Uh, I don't know, Kai, how you feeling? What are you thinking? I think I'm gonna go out there and make a couple practice hits. That mm -hmm. pad layout is weird, man. Yeah. It's a U shape. Um, and so we're definitely gonna have to make some practice hits and get used to it. Mm -hmm. But uh, nothing left other than that, but to go send it. Yeah. And that was the thing too, guys. It's kind of like a weird little S pattern. You guys will see in uh, either tomorrow or the day after this video, just kind of how weird the pad is or, you know, what it looks like. But I'm pretty stoked. We're just gonna go out there and full send it one time. This place looks way less spooky in the daytime than it did at nighttime. At nighttime, guys, it looked like we were driving to our death because like we drive all the way beyond them hills <laughs> and then this hill and then <laughs> there's nothing but trees back here, so. What's up guys? So I forgot to insert this clip real quick to talk about honestly that we forgot the whole truck just fell off the trailer. So let's go ahead and kind of just walk through. Kai, what happened? What was the situation there, buddy? Gravity happened. Gravity? Gravity, hills. Is your truck okay? I'm gonna find out today. Truck I seems mean, okay it, though. It drove onto the trailer, but when I was strapping it down, it was leaking something onto me. 
Okay. So we gotta go over that, make sure, but you know, whatever, it's a beater. Hopefully it's okay, guys. Um, fortunately the tr the strap broke on the ramp, so it let it come down real easy. If the strap didn't break, I don't know if that ramp would have held it or if it would have like just stabbed a hole in the bed. But either way, we're good on that. So yeah, I just had to include this clip because I was just like re-editing and I was just noticing that um we had a whole event happen and we kind of didn't even talk about it. But yeah, everybody's okay. It didn't hit nobody. Thank God. Uh, yeah, Chuck didn't fall in the ditch. The scary part was, guys, when it fell, it was, like, creeping into oncoming traffic that was coming this way. So, it got super lucky. It's all good. And uh, let's resume back to the Airbnb. Yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. That's going to go ahead and do it for the vlog, I guess. So, the trip, I mean, it was a pretty successful trip. We didn't have really no issues. Um, I was going really pretty taking it easy on the truck just because I just wanted to get here. I didn't really care to get here fast. But, yeah, the mountains were insane for me. Nice little hilly place, guys. Good job, Kai. So, yeah, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for today's YouTube video. I hope you guys like the content. I hope you guys like the next video that's coming. Obviously, it's going to be the burnout, the event. More so of everything. Today's just kind of, well, today's the event day, but you guys just seen our long drive. So, yeah, guys, I'll see you next video.